Hey guys, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. I recently made a watering video and in that video I identified a little bit of yellowing on my Hoya Compacta here. I've been losing quite a few leaves over the last maybe two weeks or so. Um, like this one here, I've lost about maybe five or six leaves, maybe more, and it's just continuously pushing out these yellow leaves. So you like they just fall right off. So I looked this plant over basically from top to bottom as best as I could to try and identify what's causing the issue. I don't see any bugs or pests, but again, this is a very difficult plant to find bugs and insects just because of all the little crevices in, uh, in the leaves. And it's very difficult to, I guess, look at the stem as well. So I did as good of a job as I could looking for specifically mealybugs, which I haven't seen any. This plant has a little bit of a splash, I guess, texture to the leaves as well. So it kind of catches you off guard every once in a while when you see like a, a little white area deep in uh, one of these cracks in the leaves. So I am a really big advocate for uh, troubleshooting your plant and the issues that it has. And one of the things that I will often recommend, or I personally do, is if you can't identify an obvious reason to why a plant or, an, you know, like some of the leaves are yellowing, pull the plant out of the pot, look at the roots, see what you're dealing with. I have a feeling that this might be really root bound. Hoyas in particular like to be in smaller pots. So that's why I'm kind of puzzled by this. Um, so I don't know if it's like the, the, the soil is really compact. Well, it's not bad right now, but um, it's, it's a really kind of slower draining mixture than I typically like for my Hoya. So I'm just gonna pull that out of the pot, see what we find and uh, go from there. I'm just gonna go around the pot here with my uh, flat end of the spoon and just loosen. Oh, okay, I'm breaking some roots. So I'm wondering if it's a, it's a root issue. I just snapped a root or something in there. The rest feels okay, so I'm just gonna kind of loosen that up. It should come right out. It's not root bound. What is going on with this thing? Okay, so I lost another leaf. I have no idea what's going on. The soil kind of stinks. It smells like I don't even know what to compare it to. It's not root bound. Maybe it's, oh okay, yeah, here's a few more leaves. What is going on? This one's gonna snap off too. It almost smells kind of musty, like a, like a mold or something like that. So maybe it is a soil issue. Just gonna put that there. It's not compact. Everything's okay in regards to the soil. I'm not seeing any bugs or pests that I can easily identify. What kind of has me a little bit concerned is that normally roots will search out for moisture lower in the pot. There is a lot of roots hanging around the top of the pot here. So I'm going to kind of break this up a little bit and see what's going on. Well, there's some roots down here too. I have no idea what's going on with this very shallow roots like it's barely even in the soil right here so this is one stem okay hmm. looks like this grows off of this stem yeah it doesn't doesn't smell very good maybe it needs some fresh soil maybe it needs a repot so i'm gonna take off as much as i can Okay, so I don't really, nothing is jumping out as an obvious reason as to why this is yellowing. So I'm just going to remove all the soil or as much as I can, and I'm gonna put in some fresh stuff. I'm also gonna add, a, I'll show you kind of the mixture in a second here, but I've been adding a lot of orchid bark to my uh, soils. Just helps with uh, aeration, so it keeps it nice and light and very well draining. Overall, I think the roots look okay. Like they're maybe a little bit of a lighter brown, so maybe they're a little bit more on the drier side. So maybe the, uh, the water and the moisture isn't getting down to the bottom of the pot. Maybe I should be bottom watering this instead of watering from the top. So it's a little bit more dense at the top here. So yeah, I really don't know why this is 
happening, but I'm gonna give it some fresh soil. This has been in this pot for probably a couple of years. I'm gonna get a fresh terracotta pot, one that either a brand new one or one that I've recently cleaned. This made a huge mess on the floor, dumped some perlite, as well as the last set of uh, video clips. I forgot to plug in my microphone, so it's just one of those days. Okay, so anyways, I selected a pot that is a little bit smaller than the previous pot, and normally I wouldn't recommend downsizing a pot. This Hoya cutting, I don't even know where it is. Uh, it's right here, it's on the floor. This Hoya cutting, the root ball size is not that large. And like I said, Hoyas typically like to be in a smaller pot, more root bound. So I'm not too sure, like I said, as to what happened with the last pot, whether it was a soil issue, whether it was a mineral issue. Maybe it wasn't uh, absorbing as much calcium or other nutrients, uh, which can lead to, I think, yellowing leaves. So it might've been a nutrient issue or it could have been a pot issue. Maybe there was uh, too much salt or, or some of that uh, um, kind of white substance minerals on the pot. Maybe it was just absorbing or uh, retaining too much of the salts or minerals in the pot. So I'm gonna start out with a new pot, a little bit uh, smaller, and we'll see if that helps. And obviously some fresh soil. This is a ProMix uh, tropical soil, and I like to add in some um, orchid bark mix. It comes with our perlite and charcoal, and it just makes for a nice, well-draining, airy mix. That way the roots can get a lot of more airflow, more oxygen, which leads to healthier roots. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of soil to the bottom, and then I'm just going to fill in, actually, I'm just gonna fill it in like this, and I'm gonna use my pencil to kind of poke it down. So this is pretty well how I want it to be situated, you, I don't know if you can see or not, but the, uh, the portions of the stem where the leaves fell off, I'm gonna bury them in soil. And I'm just gonna add the soil on top. That's okay because I'm gonna rinse off the leaves, so you're probably gonna get a lot of dirt in between the leaves. Just gonna shake that, or you can use a pencil just to kind of get the uh, larger, grittier stuff down. Make sure the roots are covered with soil as well. Just gonna fill it in, give it some water, clean off the leaves, and hopefully this corrects the yellowing leaf issue. Just poke it down, get this one out of the way. And it doesn't have to be pretty right now, just Make sure all the roots are covered and we'll go from there. So here's the finished product. I just sprayed it down with my uh, little spray bottle, just trying to clean off the leaves as best as I can. There's uh, still a little bit of dirt in some of the little cracks and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm just going to kind of leave it alone, put it back in its uh, regular spot on that piano window. I'm just gonna give the roots a chance to repair itself. And hopefully this corrects the yellowing issue. So like I said, I don't know if it was a soil issue, if it was a pot issue, or maybe like a nutrient uh, issue uh, deficiency from the plant. So. I'm not too sure entirely, but I hope this uh, corrects it. But if you have any comments or questions, please leave it down below. Let me know what you think is wrong with this Hoya as well, if you've ever had any yellowing leaves in your experience. But again, I always appreciate the support. Thanks for watching my video. Take care, everyone. Bye.